Welcome. In this module, we're going to take a look at C applications. Um, so these are applications developed in C language uh, security hardening. Now, uh, when we go through the eight step security hardening and step number one, as we had identified, identify the asset, which would be a C application. And step number two, research the security controls. And when you will research the security controls, one of the great sources uh, that we highly recommend is uh, the Software Engineering Institute, or SEI, which belongs to Carnegie Mellon. And in the URL, which is shown in the middle of the screen, uh, in the second bullet, um, this is the portal, and I'll show you a picture of the portal as well. And you should certainly go here, and there is uh, a lot of uh, coding, security coding standards which are recommended here, which are very detailed and which are laid out very nicely and it will show you code examples as well as we'll see in this module. And uh, specifically for C language, uh, because there are uh, control sets for C and for Java and for other um, uh, you know, technologies as well, but specifically for C language, the URL is at the bottom of the screen and you should go ahead and look at this. So developers of uh, C language applications, uh, there's a lot of great information which is lying free of cost uh, for you to go ahead and, and uh, have a look. Now, uh, in the security hardening process, eight step security hardening process, we mentioned that step number two is research. And then step number three, we take those controls and put them into an Excel uh, template so that we can track and uh, follow each step of the hardening process. And uh, later, the uh, person who will validate or check the implementation of security controls actually has something uh, to work with because there's an Excel sheet with, with controls. And then, as we mentioned, uh, step number four, develop an SOP. Step number five, implement the controls in a test environment on an alpha or beta version or um, in a pilot environment. And then step number six, you go ahead and someone will validate those controls. Someone will check that the controls have been implemented thoroughly, and that involves a source code review. Uh, step number seven is that we start preparing uh, the change management process and you may decide to do a penetration test as well based on the severity and criticality of the application. And once you've done the uh, change management process, then we actually take the hardened version of the application, which was previously we had applied um, the controls in a test environment. Now we're getting ready after the validation, after the pen test, after fixing all of those things which needed to be fixed because the validation was done and there were additional activities to be performed for the security. After all of that done is done, step number eight, we are going to take it into the production environment. And that's the entire eight step methodology. So let's go ahead and look at the controls for C applications suggested by this great resource, which is the Carnegie Mellon Software Engineering Institute. Now this is what the portal will look like. Um, so the, the uh, URL is given at the bottom of the screen and there is uh, controls here for Android, for C, for C++, for Java, for Perl. So there's about five or six different technology platforms, and there's a lot of great documentation which is available here. There are, uh, and this is what uh, one of the control sets says, there are existing compiler implementations that allow constant, uh, that allow const qualified objects to be modified without generate, generating a warning message. Avoid casting away const qualification because doing so makes it possible to modify const qualified objects without issuing diagnostics. So this is one of the controls uh, which has been suggested. And here, uh, non-compliant code example has been provided uh, for that particular control. And if you go and look, the uh, controls which have been suggested are all numbered. So this is one particular control, and I'm just showing you as an example because this is a very detailed documentation. So it's telling you that the non-compliant code example and it's telling you that this non-compliant code example allows a constant object to be modified. And this is a non-compliant code example. The first assignment is unsafe because it allows the code that follows it to attempt to change the value of the const object i. And this is uh, in the blue screen, which is shown here, they have provided the compliant example or the correct version and how to do it. So the compliant solution, which has been shown here, depends on the intent of the programmer. If the intent is that the value of i is modifiable, then it should not be declared as a constant as in this compliant solution. If the intent is that the value of i is not meant to change, 
then do not write non-compliant code that attempts to modify it. And there's also details on how to do a risk assessment and automated detection. Some tools are provided and there are related vulnerabilities and there's additional guidance. So this was the general structure of how the uh, SEI um, uh, security coding practices have been suggested. Excellent documentation and uh, you're very fortunate if you program in one of these technologies because there's really great material and really great guidance available on the URL which is shown and I'm sure that all the developers of C language will really go and take great advantage of the security controls recommended here. Thank you.